Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another session in the Garage Gym, and today I am on a bit of a time crunch. It is a Friday afternoon, just after lunch, I'm trying to get this workout done on my lunch break, so gotta be quick, but it is, of course, my Strongman Events Day. Sadly, won't have time to get all tackied up or drag out the keg or the sandbag or anything, but we are going to be doing some sandbag throwing this time. I have a bar to actually throw over, so we'll be giving that a try. But before all of that, we will be going for a pretty huge strict press PB. That is right. We have been building towards a pretty massive strict press PB. In the last few videos where I have been doing pressing, it has all been strict. We have been moving some big numbers. But today, as the title and thumbnail suggest, we are going for the big triple digits 100 kilo strict overhead press pb and i am excited i have got this weight halfway up before um it's going to be fun i have absolute full faith that i'll be able to do it the question will be for how many reps that is right obviously i'm going to be going for a one rep max but if i feel like i can go for a second rep I might do it. I might go for a double. My program allows me to do more reps if I feel up to it. And I think in this situation, it's completely fair. So without further ado, I am going to get warmed up and I'm going to show you my final couple of warm ups before we go for the big 100. So it'll be uh, 80 kg for a triple, uh, 90 kg for a single and then 100 kg for the big one. So without further ado, here is my last few warm ups and final top set of strict press. flipping easy wasn't it so much so i tried to go for a second rep but on the second rep i pushed it a little bit out in front of me and then in correcting it just i misgrooved completely zero power uh not worth trying to push through because that's how you get injured but ecstatic with how that single felt honestly really really good um only got 100 kilo half up last time i attempted it so to get it flying like that on strict presses immense really happy uh, really pleased with that. So the next thing for this session for me is to drop the weight down uh, by 10 kg, get 90 kg on that bar, uh, do a set of five uh, just to pump up the shoulders, then move on to some accessories. So chain bench press, uh, lateral raises, reared out flies, you know, usual shoulder and pressing building stuff. Uh, if you've seen any of my other pressing videos, you will have seen all of that in detail. So I'm not going to go into it today. As I said, I'm on a time crunch. So only have about an hour left to finish off this session. Uh, so I'm going to focus on filming the fun stuff like a strict press PB and my first attempt at throwing a sandbag over something. So I'm going to smash out the rest of this session until the sandbag rejoin with you just before we go into some throwing. So accessories all done. My shoulders are feeling Nice and pumped, but I'm still feeling powerful enough to get out and do some throwing. Um, you'll notice the hoodie's back on because we're heading outside and it's bloody cold. Uh, it's only about eight degrees, which isn't that cold, but for being outside and just a tank top it is. So hoodie's back on, but we are going to set up the throwing bar. So in my competition, in fact, in both of my competitions, I've got some form of throwing over a four meter bar. So in order to practice that, I've got myself a four meter bar. And the way I'm gonna do that, so I've got the yoke as the base and then in the top of the yoke, I'm gonna slide some plastic piping that I bought just from like B&Q for like tenner. It's super cheap, just normal plastic plumbing pipe. Uh, you get it from any sort of builders, warehouse builder store uh, for really cheap. That should make a nice, 
uh, four meter arch that I can then throw the sandbag over. So I'm gonna get out, get it put together, get throwing. So there we go. Quite, quite good, to be honest, uh, as the setup goes. It looks very high, because uh, it is a smidge over four meters, which is the, uh, yeah, which is what I have to throw over in competition. I don't expect I will get any over today, because I haven't got much practice, and this is quite a heavy bag, it's 22 kilo. Uh, and for anyone concerned about how close it is to the cars, it's actually a lot further away than it looks. There's no way I'm gonna be hitting that car. And if I do, it's mine anyway, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, as my training goes for this, it'll just be a case of wang it over and see how close I can get to the bar. The more practice, the better I'll get. And if I get one over, I'll be super happy. <laughs> Definitely releasing too early because it's coming forward. believe it I've only gone and got it over <laughs> what the actual honestly like so the first one I got the height but not the angle the second one I just pipped it, it yeah it went over and if that was a more stable setup it would have just rolled over so more like that please <laughs> I must have just got too excited and <laughs> come in from the session without doing any sort of outro or anything just left at the sandbag toss did say I was on a time crunch so as I edit this video I will do a bit of an outro tell you my thoughts uh, and all of that jazz so sandbag throwing went a million times better than I ever thought it would I was getting them over on about a 50% success rate it was usually I'd failed the first one then get the second over um, but yeah Feeling really good. The last couple sets, I tried to do the sort of run-in that I'll have to do in competition. Not quite there with that yet, but we are getting closer and closer. And with at least a few months now until the comp, I've got plenty of time to practice, plenty of time to get consistent, uh, and plenty of time to listen to the coaching on this. Obviously, this was only ever my second session doing it, and my 
first session actually having something to throw it over. So, yeah, super pleased with how that went. It honestly couldn't have gone better. And then, of course, the pressing. The pressing was awesome. I got a massive PB of 100 kilo, and it flew. There was no sticking point. Uh, and honestly, I felt good for at least 105. So, again, really pleased with that. Nothing much else to say about that session. Just flying high, really happy with it. So that is where I'm going to leave it today. Sorry I didn't do an outro straight after. It's actually been only about half an hour since the session. Uh, as I'm sat on the sofa and I've gone to edit it and completely forgot uh, exactly why uh, I didn't do an outro. So, yeah, we'll leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Comment down below uh, how well you think my sandbag throwing will be getting in the future. Uh, what sort of like percentage success rate with that sandbag. Hopefully... Uh, it becomes almost 100% by the time of competition. Obviously, I've got a couple of heavier ones to do in the comp, but considering this is the third heaviest, really pleased with that. It's, it's probably going to be quite a good event for me now. I'm really confident. And then, of course, the pressing was just fantastic. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought and subscribe if you haven't already. Usually, I remember to do an outro, so don't take this video as um, what it usually is. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.